Hello, my pretties. Today we're talking about fasting with herbs. So get ready. Take notes. It's tea time. That's right. It's tea time with me. I am beautiful Nia. Thank you for stopping by my channel. As always, thank you. I appreciate all of your views. Please like, comment, and subscribe right there. Go ahead and click that button. Also, um, I hope you guys are practicing social distancing, wearing your mask, keeping your hands clean, just keeping your environment clean. It's very dangerous out there. Today, we're talking about Moringa. Okay, so Moringa is known as the plant of life and the plant of good blessing. Moringa grows... Um, sub Himalayan, so um, parts of India and Africa and the Middle East, you'll find moringa plants. Um, moringa can be eaten, um, the whole plant is edible. If you can find some seeds, you can grow your own moringa. It grows very easily, it's very low maintenance. You can use it in um, your food, it's used in traditional African and Indian dishes. Also, um, it says, so um, in Senegal, they call Moringa never die, which means never die, very loosely translated, meaning that if you get this in your body, guess what? You ain't going to die. <laughs> it is the most nutrient sustainable superfoods. It's very sustainable, very easy, easy to grow, and it's so good for the body. So all of the benefits of moringa i cannot name them all myself within this time frame but we will go over some really good ones like this boost stamina it controls diabetes antioxidant lowers cholesterol controls blood pressure and a wonderful detoxifier speaking of detoxifiers i am going on a um a fast in July, starting July 1st, I'm fasting for 30 days. I'm going to use Moringa in my fast. So uh, my fast is really gonna consist of herbal teas, um, regular teas, Moringa, and spirulina. Here are some traditional medicinal uses of Moringa. Improves mental clarity. And that is true, when I uh, ingest Moringa first thing in the morning I just feel like I'm just ready to start my day it really does help with my mental clarity normalizes blood sugar which is good that that's where you can get the, um, the control of diabetes and also insulin it, it normalizes insulin um, it's anti-aging antioxidants um, it's just a really great source of amino acids it's also wonderful for wound healing. So if you know someone who's prone to um, slow wound healing, please help them out. Get them some Moringa um, because it helps with the, clot the blood clotting. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, my fast will consist of Moringa, tea, water, spirulina just herbs so I'm starting this fast on July 1st for 30 days of course I will document it of course I'm beautiful Nia of course I have to right so it, my intention for this fast is to connect with my spirituality and detox my body before I do a fast I always uh, state my intention I would love for you to join me on this 30-day fast starting July 1st Please check with your doctors before starting a fasting regimen. Um, if you are on medications and you need food, then maybe you can fast from something else that is not uh, food, like uh, fast from um, reckless spending or fast from um, social media. But don't fast from my channel, though. <laughs> No, <laughs> stay connected. But seriously, we can think of other things we could also fast from if you cannot fast from food. It's understandable, yeah? So here's a great picture of Moringa and all of its parts, its pod, the seeds, the leaves. There I am making some Moringa and water. 
uh, this is about a teaspoon of moringa. Here's my my moringa powder. I get it from Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can find it anywhere, health food store, Amazon, anywhere. So uh, I mixed it with some water. Now it mixes better with warm water. Uh, this is cold water. I just didn't feel like being having warm water. I was being lazy. But go ahead and stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. <laughs> anyway, so I am gonna just take this straight to the head. You can use uh, moringa in your smoothies if you cannot fast, but you still want to get in your moringa. You can mix it in to your smoothies or your juices in the morning. Um, it doesn't really have much of a taste. The taste isn't very strong. And that's me downing the hatch. Ooh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> ah, delicious. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.